Hey. You with the ears. Up for a challenge? Welcome to a new series of videos on listening tests. Each one of these is going to focus on ear training with a different mixing tool. How fun and original. You can accept this challenge by smacking that like button like a dirty old 1176. Today, we've got seven questions on EQ. We're gonna start off pretty simple and then we're gonna get progressively a little bit more difficult. Let's start off with a simple one. And remember to use headphones or monitors or you won't hear shit. Learn audio engineering. Learn audio now. Sound strategies to sound goals. Okay, so number one, it's a cut. We're missing a whole lot of presence information with this 4K notch. This is a very important frequency range that's critical for the clarity of instruments and the intelligibility of speech. It's also a very common area to get damaged with hearing loss. So if you can hear voices, but you can't make out what's being said very well, you might need to turn up the 4K. Okay, up next, let's do a few questions with six decibel boosts or cuts. So a lot more resonance in the snare drum on this one, and there's definitely more snap and presence and aggression to the kick. This is definitely a one kilohertz boost. Engineers like CLA will often boost a lot of high frequencies in the drums to get a more aggressive sound that cuts through a dense mix. So this really thins out the kick. You might even notice the difference if you're listening on a smartphone or a laptop, which you shouldn't be, you should grab some headphones. You'll notice that the low thump of the kick is present, but all of its body and sustain have been reduced. So 300 is often thought of as a muddy resonance and it's often cut, but it is essential to get low end to translate onto smaller speakers. So the kick is thin, way less oomph, and the snare tightens up too. So this is the sound of a high pass filter at 100 hertz, which is probably a little bit high, but this is just for practice. If we chose to high pass at 40 hertz, this would maintain the fundamental of the bass drum, as well as the low end body of the snare. Coming up next, we're gonna do 3 dB booster cuts.
So a much stronger fundamental on the kick and the snare sounds a little bit fuller too. It's definitely a boost in the low end, but the kick is affected more than the snare. So it's gotta be the 60 Hertz boost. So the snare gets flat, the hats are more dull, and even the kick sounds a little bit blunt and rounded. We can still hear the top end, but everything's a little bit blurry. This is a presence cut of 6K, which is removing the diction of the hi-hats and the attack of the drums. Okay, final question, 1 dB booster cut. Okay, very tricky. It's all in the resonance of the snare to me. We lose that high ping and it changes to a lower note. Also, the hi-hats get a little bit less crisp sounding and forward in the mix. Definitely a 12K cut. So how did you do? Did you earn the title of golden ear girl or boy? I had a lot of fun with this test and I could see myself doing a whole lot more of these. There's an endless amounts of thing to create tests for, compression ratio, attack time, type of reverb, the list goes on. Please let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the future. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. And remember to subscribe if you're new for fresh weekly content. It really helps me out when you do that. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.